guys, so me and Tony are on the ferry. We're going to Connecticut to meet Jojo Fletcher. <laughs> Today I am interviewing my role model, my best friend, and my mom, Jennifer Valentino. Thank you for me. <laughs> okay. So as you've seen in my videos, it's all Bachelorette um, theme since I met the Bachelorette and everything. So I've decided to interview my mom about her love story with my dad who they're still together but my dad's really busy so to get an interview with him it's like you have to call <laughs> his freaking manager who's Jen and it's just like too much. This is the story of my life. <laughs> okay so how old were you when you and dad Joseph Valentino met? Okay so I was 15 it was right before I turned 16 about two months before and I went to my brother's baseball game and my friend fell in love with number 10, which is my, was my husband, and she had such a crush on him, and <laughs> he ended up calling me and actually coming to my house and wanted no part of her, and I felt so bad. Yes, so, so bad. Yeah, he was so freaking hot that I, <laughs> I, I got over that quick. So that, that's how we met. My brother, however, met him at the door with a baseball bat and threatened his life. <laughs> Still did not stop the Joe Valentino, he was very persistent, and we finally went on a date. And Where did he take you on your first date? I believe we probably, you know what, it was a whole time ago, over 30 <laughs> years ago. I, no. We did friendlies a lot because I really like ice cream. And yeah, so <laughs> yeah. he from the start was reeling you in. Oh yeah, he knew. He knew anything with chocolate and ice cream. So a lot of our dates revolved around that. <laughs> so that was good. So how long did you guys date? We dated almost a year. And then we broke up. Do I want to ask why you broke up? Or should we leave that place? Oh no, you can ask. Um, so I'm Jen, not why did you break up? 
we broke up because he wanted to date someone else. So And you said, mm-mm, honey. Yeah, he wanted to date both of us, and I just thought that was hysterical. <laughs> that was not going to happen. So we broke up, and uh, we always stayed in touch, though, always. And, you know, I always tell my girls I never cheated on a boyfriend, and I... I really didn't think I did, but every time Joe came back into the picture, whether I had a boyfriend and he had a girlfriend, we'd go out on a date. Every time. So for years and years, and we stayed friends, he moved to Florida, uh, I went to college, and we did. We continued to be friends, uh, long distance friends. He moved back home, and uh, his sister ended up going to my school. So, so this is how you rekindled the second time? Yes. He... he um, well, he called my house thinking, you know, I was home, which I was. It was summer break. It was before my senior year of college. And my grandmother answered and said that I was not there. Um, but she had Alzheimer's, but he didn't know. So <laughs> That's so, not funny, but it's really funny. <laughs> oh, it's a little funny. It is a little funny. So she said, no, no, no. She's at school. She didn't know. I was probably in the next bedroom. But... Uh, so he forgot about it and then my mother's friend saw him out of the blue he was working she was in one of the car dealerships and she said hey have you called Jen and he said no she's at school she says uh, no I just saw her so he called the house again got my mom and my mom said oh no 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 she's home whatever <laughs> and I never responded. His sister called me and said, hey, can you come over and talk about school? I'm going to your school and I have some questions for you. So I said, oh, of course, you know, that, yeah, no problem. Went over there, um, she was all dressed up. I hadn't seen her since she was 13. Here she is, this beautiful young woman now and she was going on a date. So I said, wait, I thought you had questions. She says, oh yeah, we could talk another time, but Joe's downstairs. <laughs> Set up. Total setup. Total setup. And then... Well, thank you, Aunt Laura, for that because you brought my parents back together and created me. <laughs> so when did you know that you wanted to marry Dad? Okay, so I th my side of the story is um, we, we dated, started dating again in August. We went on a few, quite a few dates. And then I said, okay, it was the end of August, I have to go back to school. So he said, so are we in a relationship now? And I said, um, I, I don't know, I'm just going back to school. I gotta finish college and then, you know, we can figure it out. So he said, can I visit? I said, of course you could visit. So uh, <laughs> I went back to school and then he proceeded to come down every weekend. Uh, <laughs> three weekends in a row. And finally, I just caved and said, okay, well, boyfriend and girlfriend, just relax. Um, we could see each other every other weekend. It's my last year. I had a lot to do. I had internships and all that stuff. So he was like, oh, okay. He just wanted to make sure that he nailed me down. Mm. Oh, that's not. <laughs> that's not... Nailed you down. <laughs> I didn't mean it that Keep way. It but anyway, Jen. but if you ask him, we went on. In that August, when we started seeing each other again, we went on one date, and at the end of the night, he said to me, I'm going to marry you. And I went, ha, 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 you are not. I'm going back to school. Well, the joke's on me, because one year later after that, he proposed, and I said yes. And then we got married about 22 months later. Okay, but when in your head were you like, okay, I'm going to marry this guy? Okay, so for me, for him it was the first date. For me, it was probably when I came home for Christmas break. Okay, so like six yeah. months in. Yeah, about four or five months in, yeah. Now, when you were younger and you were dating, did you think he was the one you were gonna marry? Yes, I did. I did, I know that's crazy, but And you never I felt did. that way with any other boyfriends, like? Um, I think I did what every other girl did, like, oh, oh we're gonna, we're gonna, gonna get married, get married. Yeah, all that crap. Yeah. And. Uh, but in my heart, I never fully could commit because I knew it wasn't right. Yeah, it was always knew. dad, not yeah. Joe, not Joe. Dad and well, then you. also when I was 16 and we were dating, uh, I really thought, oh, he's it because I'm never going to feel about somebody how I feel about him. So when okay. I dated other guys, I thought, well, I was fooled once. I thought I was going to marry Joe Valentino. Yeah. And that didn't happen. So maybe that's not the right feeling. And then okay. we started dating again. 
and I thought, oh no, I was right the first time. Yeah. I could cry. That's yeah. So no, I really know. He's my soulmate. So what's your favorite thing about Dad? Oh my God, he has the biggest heart. Anybody who has met him knows he has the biggest heart, and he would give you the shirt off his back. If you could give advice to all those young girls out there who think they're in love or are just got their heart broken, whatever, what would you tell them about love and finding your soulmate? Okay, so I've had this talk a few times because I have three daughters. Um, I would say you can't force it to happen. You can't say, oh, I love him, love him, love him. This is my advice for young girls or even boys. Be true to yourself. Don't change who you are. And if it's meant to be, it really will happen. And that's what I believe. That's what I, there's somebody for, ev for everybody. That is great advice, Jennifer. Thanks, Danny. Thank you for coming on to my Wait, show. are you gonna listen to my advice? Now everybody out there knows I gave it to you. Okay. Um, we'll find out, okay? Once I have a boyfriend, I'm sure the whole world will know because I will be, Okay. whoa, someone okay. tied me down. Yeah. And then we can go over if I'm following your advice. I'm not holding my breath. <laughs> But thank you so much for letting me interview you. You're welcome. Ooh. I love you. Bye. Bye. I am happy to be stuck with you. Yes, it's true.